All right, here's a here's a skill in basketball um, that is super important. Um, and it it's not when the ball is in your hand. It's it's not shooting. It's not dribbling. It's just communication, uh, verbal or nonverbal. And the thing I want to talk about that is stuck in my head is the idea of the point assist. Um, the point assist is basically nonverbal pointing out of lanes and passing options or shooting options. Because um, what I've found is that. Uh, a huge thing in basketball is being able to see the floor and not just being able to see the floor but comprehend the floor and that's not always easy because players moving are complex I might not see it I might see it and not even not even register right so one of the things that we can do as players is let our teammates know so there isn't a situation where it's like dude you should have shot that it's like you already shot that because we yelled at you to shoot it and I pointed up or like you missed me, bro. Or you missed the pass, bro. Like that. I, I want to minimize that. I want to because I, call, I said you have me, you have Luke on the fast break, right? And I pointed, and you see those lanes or whatever. So that's the idea of point assist. And like basically, the point assist. I played basketball yesterday, and I had um, a variety of point assists, uh, which were awesome. And I may not even touch the ball and I might not even be having a good statistical game, but if our team is winning and our teammates are making the right reads because of information that I convey, that's awesome. So a couple of a, a point assists to think about is there was um, a play where basically, for whatever reason, we had the ball in the post. I don't remember if it was a post entry or an offensive rebound, but there was a spot on the floor where me and our teammate Eli um, had only one defender to us because there was a missed rotation, but we were close. So I caught to the left and pointed towards the ball and pointed towards Eli because that points out the triangle of lanes basically. And the, the pass was made to Eli. Eli is now open. I point at the basket and say, shoot it, that's a good shot. This is the best one we can get because he's wide open. But we could try to get another shot, but it's like open three, point at the basket. But again, if I don't point at the basket, there's a chance he just doesn't even shoot it, and we're in a situation where it's like, why the hell didn't you shoot the open one, right? So he shoots it, goes in, a point assist. Pass happened partially because of me, shot went up partially because of me. I didn't touch the ball, right? That's a big deal. Um, similarly, you'll see this a lot, point assist for yourself. Um, uh, I, had, I, I had a lob where basically I cut back door, and the whole time I pointed up, which is saying, yo, point, throw, throw it up, basically. Um, pass goes up, I catch it, put it in, bam, bucket. So, I mean, that's basically point assist. Pointing to lanes, saying you have me, you have Eli, whatever, saying shoot it, point, shoot it. Um, saying I'm not even open. You, have, you know, point to, to the two open. And that just helps, like, whoever has the ball to make the right decision. And you, yeah, and that just makes basketball way easier because basketball is a strategy game. It's not really about dribbling and shooting and um, um, passing. It's not really not about dribbling and shooting because everyone can do that anyway. Anyways, it's about dribbling and shooting and, and basically using the team to get a high percentage shot or a shot that is a high percentage rebound, shot that has no chance of, of, a, of a live ball fast break or anything like that. So hopefully you find this helpful and you can take this into your, your team or you can take this into pickup, whatever level you play at, or you can take this to your kids if you coach, and I get you know get yourself and, and everyone working on point assists, um, verbal and nonverbal communication. A promise it, it will make a tremendous difference, and it's fun. You don't you don't touch the ball, and it feels good too, and in, in plays like these. So that's energy efficient basketball. Peace.